Going. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> so that bird was hanging somewhere right around in here. He's still in the ground over here, place where he's been dragging his wings and strutting. And he was just hanging out right over here. I was down the road that way, and the road loops around right here. He went about 20 yards right above me. It's one thing, look at your maps before you start calling, because if I would have looked, I would have been on the high road. Um, always be on the high side. That was my mistake. I thought he'd come right down the road. I didn't realize there was a road right above me. See right here, look at all these marks from where he's been strutting. Right here. Nice long beard. That was the Tom I was hunting. Just to show proof that I don't like jump shooting. That bird's 12 yards for me. Could easily shoot him. But I like to play the game. So we're day three here in Idaho. Started out last night and uh, I looked in that one spot, didn't see anything. I just didn't have any other ideas of where to hunt in that area. Said screw it, um, got on the road, started driving. Drove probably like half hour to an area I thought uh, on the maps might be good. Turns out that that was a pass at like 4,000 feet. Elk country, not turkey country. Um, so that was a no-go. 
So it was like 10 o'clock at night, kept driving. I had sort of another idea. Sort of pulled in there last night pretty late. Um, slept up the hill. In the morning, drove down the hill, pulled in there and realized it was a mountain bike park and you can't hunt there. So that was a no-go. So, you know, at this point it's, I don't know, like 6.30 or so. Got my map. Um, got an idea of another place, hit up a Starbucks, uh, drove, pulled in there, I don't know, 7, 7.30, and uh, found some turkeys. And yeah, I had decent hunting, screwed up on a nice bird. I hunted the low part of the road, he took the upper part. And not much longer, a guy comes running by, and whatever. Um, went up the road a little further, found another turkey. I think he was hand up. I just didn't have the patience. Um, so left that area, went to McDonald's, did some video editing, hung out there. Um, I'm gonna try some new places. Uh, got a bunch of ideas in mind. I'm just sort of gonna run and gun and uh, see what happens. I think that one bird, took the upper row when the runner came by. I think, I, I mean, I know his hangout. I mean, he he was there. I mean, he just, there were strut marks everywhere. Um, and after I left, he was back down there gobbling. So I know I could go set up on him tomorrow. Um, but you know, I'm here to, I don't know, learn some new areas, have fun, see what happens here. I still got a couple days. So, but at least I've got that option. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I'm, I got another spot here. I got a bunch of spots lined up to go try. They could be terrible. Might not even be able to hunt them. Could be mountain bike parks.
Well, crazy afternoon today. Um, hung out at McDonald's for a bit, took off. Uh, just hit a number of spots quick. Just went in, went through them. Um, I think I hit, checked out like two, three spots. Not, you know, nothing was there. No signs of anything. Um, drove by a number of other spots, just checked them out. Just going as quick as I could, trying to, you know, find stuff. Um, drove by one spot and I looked back, got on my maps, checked it out and, you know, looked public, drove up here and I was like, man, they're in here. Um, you know, awesome looking at it. Right when I drove in, I was like, they're gonna be here. Uh, pulled in, walked for a bit and, uh, you know, got a gobble sort of set up and there was another gobble couldn't really figure out where to set up so i was moving around trying to figure out i had ended up being three jakes up above me that came in i don't know if i really got it on video but i had three jakes come in 20 yards could have shot them and then i had there were at least two birds below me um, one was probably 100 and the other was about 200. I was like right in the corner of public land. Um, the jakes were on private up above me about 50 yards and the tom was below me maybe, I don't know, 70, 80 yards on private and I was like right on the corner. My decoys were right on the edge. Um, and man, it was a show. I mean, the it was jakes were just gobbling like crazy above me. They came in. Tom was gobbling below that other turkey. I'm guessing maybe a satellite Tom. And I don't even know, there could have been a couple Toms. And the hens were going nuts. Um, I, there were there must have been a bunch of turkeys in there. But uh, yeah, I had hens just going nuts, just you know, calling back. I could hear hens close to me, like 40 yards, because I could hear them clucking. And you, they're pretty close if I can hear them cluck. Um, I never saw any hens, but I think they were just right on the other side of some weeds, um, or some brush, like, I mean, they had to been like 60 yards for me. But, uh, yeah, those jakes came in, they could see me. I, I didn't, you know, moving around, I couldn't quite find, you know, like a real good hide. Um, there weren't like a lot of good hides in there. When they came in, they could see me. Uh, they were somewhat nervous. And they went down the hill and uh, it was a little bit after. I mean, I don't know what happened. Um, I don't know, it, you know, maybe someone can comment back what they think. I hope they got on audio. I'm sure I got it on audio, but it sounded like two jakes or I mean, bird, it sounded like gobblers fighting. Um, I don't know, but I mean, it would just, all this aggressive purring, like they were fighting and the hens were just, they were going nuts. Um, I've never heard anything like it. It was just chaos for like probably about two minutes. And then after that, just everything died. I don't know, I don't know if like something came in and was killing a turkey or, uh, you know, they got into a big fight, but something happened and it just shut everything down. Never heard really anything after that. I think they gobbled a couple times. Um, 
but I was sort of, you know, I don't know what I was going to do there. That, that Tom had a lot of hens around him. Um, so I, I just decided to check out, you know, the area, awesome area, walked a mile and a half that way. And, uh, I can't believe I didn't find anything down there. Um, but there were just nothing. They were just all right in one area, which didn't make real sense to me. I think it was, you know, there was about two miles of just huntable ground um, and just awesome. You know, some of the best um, habitat I've seen so far, just perfect turkey country. But uh, yeah, nothing. They were just all right there, right on the corner of the, the public land and the, uh, the private land. So I don't know, definitely an area I'll come back to and check out. It's definitely gonna hold birds all the time. Um, but yeah, it just didn't happen for me tonight. Tomorrow I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go hunt that bird that uh, I that I was set up on first thing that I set up on the wrong uh, side of the road. Um, man, that guy likes that little corner. He's strutting there like crazy. I'm just gonna go right to where he struts. Be there early. Just shut up not really call much and just sit there um he's got to show up I, I it should be an easy deal i don't know if i should say that but yeah that's where i'm going